We live in a really interesting time in that if enough people get angry over the internet about something, it can create change and quite quickly. Now, look at these photos and tell me that you don't have the same exact initial reaction that I did as well as everyone else that I've ever shared them with, which is, wait, this is, this is the tank? Like this, this whale lives in this small concrete bathtub for the last 52 years? Wow, that's messed up. Same reaction every time. And it's interesting in that we also live in a period of time where people are as divided as ever, society as a whole. It seems that you can't find one thing that everyone agrees upon, except for this. This is a unique special moment where every person with a soul universally agrees that this is wrong, it's unacceptable, and yes, removing this poor whale from this small, cruel enclosure is the right thing to do. And, and this is the best part, guys, is that it's totally possible, and we as the internet are gonna bust her ass out of there. So here's the situation. I am going to Miami with my friend Phil Demers on the first weekend of June. And if you don't know Phil, he's also referred to as the Walrus Whisperer. And he is worthy of your time because he is a good guy that has sacrificed so much. And we are going together to Miami to a demonstration on Sunday, June 5th, in order to spread awareness to help Lolita get her freedom. Now, there is this is very complicated. There's a lot of people that have spent years and years on this. Um, to clarify, we're not raising any money. This is no longer about money, guys. This is about enough people getting involved, and this can happen. And I'm telling you, it's something to feel good about. I understand that this world has about a million problems, and someone's going to watch this and be like, we need to fix this, we need to fix that. Hey, listen, there's billions of us, and we can all do something at the same time. And i got to be honest with you, I think that it would be really, really good to save this poor creature because let's be real, they're sentient beings. This is scientifically proven. They suffer. I mean, they give them literal SSRIs and Valium and antidepressants. Um, and you should know that we all understand that orcas are a community species. They do not operate alone in the wild. And where this becomes even more disturbing is that poor Lolita, who was first of all, captured out of the wild at four years old and has lived at the Miami Sea Aquarium ever since 1970. Again, 52 years of her 56 years of life. And she has been in isolation from any other orcas since 1980. That's 42 years. And that's once Hugo, her prior companion, had literally committed suicide by repeatedly banging his head against the concrete wall until he died of a brain aneurysm. And, and this is not uncommon like this is happening in marine land right now which by the way phil demers was a trainer there he went rogue and went public addressing uh, various atrocities that were happening there and then he became a victim of a vicious lawsuit of being sued up the ass by this place called marine land and it, he's not guilty of anything his story is fascinating uh you may recognize him for having been on the joe rogan experience podcast five times that says a lot. In fact, Joe Rogan refers to him as a hero, and he really is. Like he's, he's, if you look into his story, it's very inspiring. He's someone that did the hard right instead of the easy wrong, and, and, and he has suffered greatly for it. But he also has a positive uh, mindset, and so this is what we're going to do. We're going to Miami, and we're inviting you to come with us. We are going to be at a demonstration on Sunday, June 5th. We'd like for you to come. And we're also going to do a meet and greet on Saturday, June 4th at one of the hotel bars or something. Uh, follow us on Instagram. We'll be keeping you posted as uh, we plan everything out. But the reality is this. The, and, and again, this is a complicated topic. This, this, there's many people, smart people, that have put their time into this. And what we're going to do right now is bring attention to this issue. And I'm telling you that be, the, the power of bringing attention to an issue in this day and age cannot be overstated because it's exactly why Canada passed S203, which is prohibiting orcas from being, whales being brought from the wild into captivity. They're not allowed to breed them. They can't use them in shows. And all of this is because of Phil and Joe Rogan, who did a real solid, I mean, that's how I learned of, of Phil, is by watching a Joe Rogan podcast a few years ago, and I was blown away at this story. And, and I should also mention that you should look at Phil's documentary. It came out um, in 2020, right around the COVID time. And unfortunately, because of all that, it didn't uh, get traction the way it surely deserved to because I watched it on Amazon and it was an excellent documentary and it's worthy of your time. Um, so with all that said, like guys, 
this is something that is totally possible. And I'm telling you right now, if you just create enough noise about this, it will have an effect. Mark my words. But as of right now, here's the messed up part. As of right now, dude, she's going to die in there. And I was heartbroken when Telecom died in SeaWorld. I, if you were following me since the beginning, you would know I had about four or five different videos about Blackfish and SeaWorld. I only have one up now. I took down the others because uh, the, I, I said some interesting things about the prior uh, CEO at SeaWorld. And once he quit and stepped down, I took down those videos because I thought it was like the classy move to do. Um, but this is something I hold dear to me. Like I cried like a baby in Blackfish and I just really want to see a video of Lolita as well as Kiska from Marineland um, being released. And just to clarify, no one's suggesting they just go dump them in the wild. That would, they would die surely. Um, but we are suggesting and others is that they be rehabilitated or at least if nothing else, be put into a sanctuary, like a, a fenced off cove where if nothing else, they have the natural ocean current because let's be clear, spending the rest of their lives in this small, unbelievable tank is cruel. It's wrong. It's not the right way to go. And it doesn't have to be this way. Um, and, and honestly, I would like to see a video of them experiencing being released into the ocean currents and being around other orcas for the first time. This is something to feel good about. Like I, yeah, I have some real concerns about the future. Um, especially in the short term over the next few years. And I just think that it'd be really good for everyone to, to see something good happen that we all agree upon. And it's so possible. That's the part where there is a will, there is a way. Phil has had some amazing contacts with people over the years. And there are some, like I said, very smart people that have been working towards this. And all we need to do now is just put it on blast. Because again, we're, we're seeing like outrage culture, cancel culture, all this stuff silly stuff in society but the funny thing is, is that we can use it for good like our cell phones are now like swords like we can just by sharing something can make thing can make actual change and again phil demers is the proof in the pudding of this because of him speaking out against marine land s203 ends up passing as a law that guys that's because of him and, and other people were involved as well but like he's the reason why that became an international thing so Again, uh, we will be there the first weekend of June. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be good vibes. It'll be a chance to connect with people of similar mindsets. Um, as I've traveled before on tours to Egypt and Peru, I met some of the most wonderful people in my life. And this is an opportunity to do the same. You get like-minded people and, and you talk about something and you share it together. And so here's what else I, I am suggesting though. Um, I have quite literally never asked anyone to share any of my stuff. Uh, I have videos on all kinds of topics. Um, and this is the one time that I'm, I'm literally asking you to share this. Um, if you are a fellow YouTuber, or if you know some other public personality or whoever, like come with us or share it. Like it's, it's that simple. Like this is, just to clarify, we are not raising money. Like, cause that's one of the things is that people have raised millions of dollars to get these, these whales out of there. And guys are still there. Like it's, again, it's a complicated thing, but what I'm telling you is that this is possible. It's the right thing to do. Look at the damn photos and we all agree. It's so rare to find anything society universally agrees on, which is, that, okay, fine. This whale spending the rest of its life in there and this small concrete bathtub is wrong and that's the end of it. And it is so possible for change. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, Miami, in Miami, we're gonna be doing a helicopter ride over this freaking stadium. I'm gonna be interviewing people. We're gonna be getting all kinds of amazing footage. And I'm going to make another video that tells more about Phil and the situation and where it all stands. But right now, uh, it's about spreading the awareness and it cannot be overstated on the power of the internet. By just creating enough people, get enough agitated enough, change is possible. And it's time to see it done in a productive manner for something good as opposed to just something stupid like we always see over the internet. All that said, my name is Jimmy Corsetti. My channel is called Bright Insight. Follow me and Phil on Instagram because that's where we'll have more info real soon. But... I'm going to wrap it up there. Stay tuned, everybody.